Kirby, Dale Denham from PPAI. Congratulations on your 400th episode. I have a question for you, and my question is this. You've done now 400 episodes. You create all sorts of content. You've written a book. You've done quite a few things. I know it's personally fulfilling and helps you grow, but how do you measure the success for the effort that you put into it, and how do you manage to decide how much more effort you put into one thing versus another? Congrats again. Dale, great question. Thank you so much and great job. Uh, I love what you're doing there at PPAI. So thank you for all the hard work. Um, how do I measure the success? You know what? It's a moving target. Um, and I think that I, I, one of the things that I've probably done well is I haven't gotten too tied up in the metrics of the individual exercise of creating content, because I think that doing that can drive you a little mad, right? You'll, you'll, do a delivering marketing joy or a blog or a podcast that you think that's going to totally change the industry and nobody seems to care. And then you'll do one that you're like, Oh, I don't know if it's going to work. And it does really well. So I really struggle with the idea of measuring it. Exactly. I, I think that where it comes is measuring it over time. And um, I think that the way that you do that is make a commitment to doing something and then sticking with a lot like fitness is what I always, I always, compare fitness to uh, content in the sense that if you create one video and expect it to change your business life, I think you're going to be sorely um, frustrated because that's the same thing as if you go to the gym one day and work out for eight hours, you're just going to be sore, right? It's, you're not going to see any um, big changes. And so I think that the way that you measure it is you do it over a, a period of time. Don't do it if you're not going to commit um, from con for content from for, for six months, right? Um, because I think then you can start to see its impact on your business. Um, the other thing I would say is the way I make decisions on how I do things is several years ago, I sat down with my team and said, what are the ways that I bring value to Hossman Marketing? And um, over the course of a conversation, they decided, look, sales, individual sales, creating content and helping our sales team um, do sales. Those were the three places I added value. And so I kind of worked with Emily in my office to say, look, we need to remove anything on my calendar that doesn't do one of these three things. And when I'm hyper-focused on those things that bring the most um, value to the company, that's when I create better content and I have more of an impact. And then the final thought about that is then I am willing to reevaluate, right? I'm, I'm reevaluating as you go to say, is this bringing the business value? And is it bringing joy to me and my life? And if the answer is no to both of those questions, then I think it might be time to move on. The good news is, you know, I've really enjoyed doing Delivering Marketing Joy and it's helped me grow. So that Josh mentioned that earlier, I get the chance to interview some of the smartest people in the world when it comes to entrepreneurship and marketing and that sort of thing. And it's become a weekly education for me. And so, um, that you, Dale, you mentioned that it is personally fulfilling. And I think that sometimes that's the thing that keeps you going when you don't feel like doing it anymore. So I hope that answers your question, Dale.